Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippotesla. Welcome to episode 5 of Resident Evil 1 for the Sega Saturn playthrough. Both scenarios. Chrissy gave us some trouble, but we're going there. Rebecca's there to keep us <laughs> laughing, if nothing else. Laughter is the best medicine. She's doing her job. She's the best medic in stars. She's the only medic in stars. Hello there, family. Ljubka. Zdravo eko, zdravo dečice. Nina i Gagi. I Naca, ako me čuje. I mama, i tata. <laughs> Chris gave us wonderful time. Yeah, he did. Hello, Gamut. Good to see you, Gamut. I'm glad. <laughs> Always happy to see you people here. Means I'm doing something right. I guess. <laughs> Let's see. So, Chris was as stubborn as Chris is. And uh, he decided his, his segment has to be three episodes, not two. So, uh, I guess we're there. Zdravo, Nacu, zdravo, srce. Oh, Davide, oh. David, wait a second, man. Okay, okay. Nice. I gotta make a reminder for myself. What were we doing last? David. <laughs> How was your day, man? So, cr crank for the pool. Battery for the elevator. Shotgun for shooting. And then we'll have to go to the other... Yeah, I can do this. I don't need help or anything. I'm just gonna go in there blindly. As Chris does. It's, I'm Chris. Of course I gotta do that. David, I gotta say the, uh, the, the, the console is amazing. It loads. So it loads the header of the disc. So it checks the disc type and all that. Before the Sega Saturn uh, BIOS logo is even through. So it, it does it instantly. Which is what we wanted. So we need more Saturn games. So far we have what? Doom? We have um, Die Hard Trilogy. And we have uh, a game in French. I forgot. It's a letter D, I think. <laughs> Do you want to play some D? <laughs> Was it D or B? Oh, good, good. I'm, I'm great. Re uh, uh, taking into account I just finished work. 30 minutes before stream, so it's straight from a business meeting to a, to, oh, there's the guy I might dodge, might not. Oh, look, every time it works, because he's a lefty, my man. <laughs> it works amazing. We got to do the same with, uh, with Dreamcast, really. Get a new lasers. <laughs> How about we put some sharks with laser beams attached to their heads into it? Maybe it'll work better. <laughs> Sasha's just tearing the house down, that's usual, don't worry about it. It's normal occurrence in this house. I gotta go down first, that's right. I gotta go to the snake tunnel. I don't know where I read that, maybe on the wiki. That, uh... Like... Even before T-Virus, of course. I don't know if these snakes are infected even. I think they're just vipers. Because it's said that there are vipers in Arclay uh, Mountains. And uh, a lot of them live on the snake. On the on the trees around Spencer Estate. So that's like... I guess it's from one of those special edition booklets. Just like the George Trevor story was before the remake, I guess. You know, I was thinking about that transparency thing, David. Like, why does it... Why did it work with... Um, oh, I might be, be able to do this. Castle free. Will I take the elevator at all? Why, why shouldn't I, really? Why would I go back? I'm thinking, I did it backwards yesterday. Why did I do it? Oh, who cares? I'm pumping away. So, you know how I talked about two days ago that uh, it's weird that uh, widescreen bars, the letterbox thing, are um, transparent? While, you know, anything in the game, anything other on the Saturn isn't, we do know that Saturn can do that. And I thought maybe it's a 2D effect only. Maybe Saturn can, can make polygons 
transparent, but it can do that with sprites because it shouldn't be too hard to adjust the opacity of sprites. So maybe the bars are just 2D sprite. I mean, of course they are. <laughs> so maybe that's why that part can be transparent, which again could be used surely in some ways for these games. Can you make water transparent by using just uh, just those sprites? Can you, can you rotate and scale? I think you can rotate and scale sprites on the on Saturn, no problem. I mean, it, it is despite it not wanting to be. It is a 3D console. Despite it not wanting to be, <laughs> they didn't really want it to be a 3D console. Did what? Oh really? Well, there's another game we gotta get. I never played your OG Tomb Raiders and it's... They're very near the top of my list, so... That would be something. You're shitting me, I gotta see that. Oh, as sprites, yeah. So that would be, that's what I was thinking. So you make everything polygonal, but you make water just... You make a film over to look like a sprite. I think that, that would work. And I think I need to bring some HP. Yeah, I gotta drop this crank. I'm not gonna need it and get some HP items. Can I dodge? I have... Okay, that worked. <laughs> I guess I confused them. Oh, Gamma, did you see, well, all of you, did you see the, uh, the RE2 prototype, uh, let's say, analysis? Uh, Encribbon did the other day, without uh, collision maps and everything, this, this uh, corridor, whatever it is, reminded me of it. Because you could see characters through it, it, it didn't have collision maps yet. But it's interesting, some of the parts are noticeably different. That, that version uh, surfaced way after, you know, the, the game was released. I think it surfaced something recently. Eagle metal, wolf metal. Wait, where's the crank then? Right under the lighter. Yeah, that's right. Help? Oh, it could help. It could also do the opposite. You want to bring some. I always have this uh, safe room if I want to... If I want to do that again. And I gotta think about that spider. I don't know if what Teste uh, suggested would work. Can I burn the, the Kabu? He didn't seem to be phased by the flamethrower at all. I don't know how that... I don't remember how it killed him originally with Chris. I kind of remember burning it with the flamethrower, but... This one didn't flinch. Except that one time when he got stuck. If I can do something like that, get out of its, you know, let's think about this. I'm not going to use the shotgun at all. I'm not going to shoot at these guys, right? I didn't shoot a single guy. So let's say I'll get the clip, I'll get the flamethrower and the crank. I think I'll be good. I should bring the blue herb as well in case I get poisoned uh, or just like... Maybe an RGB mix, I'm gonna do that. I've seen a blue herb. Yeah, there's one. Ah, I know. There's one in the courtyard. That's what I'm gonna do. The one in the courtyard. It's right next to the house. Get out, get out. Get out of the house. It does load differently when changing houses. So when loading from the mansion to the courtyard and from the courtyard to the guardhouse it does take longer and you can hear it's doing different stuff <laughs> get down with me you mutants i like how nikolai in the original re3 at the oh there's one there very nice of you herb uh 
In the original RE3, when Nikolai says, it must be another mutant. The way he says mutant, it always <laughs> was striking to me. And my first thought as a kid was, Ninja Turtles? These guys are mutants, of course. I mean, the, the monsters, they're mutants. Whoa, why did I go there? I didn't... Oh, yeah, I did want to go there. Bye. All right. It's all worth it to see Chris doing that phenomenal conclusion with Enrico's killer. <laughs> Is somebody there? <laughs> nah, he just... He just... <laughs> no, I'm, I don't need to say anything, no. The game... Chris will do it for us. And you could gave up on life when he saw <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Double crosser. <Ugh. laughs> so we're good. Clip. Crank. Clip crank. And. I'm not even gonna take the flamethrower. I don't need to fight those guys, right? Nah. I mean, I can just run past them. I could burn him with the flamethrower though. I'll bring it. It's not gonna hurt. If it gets too hot, <laughs> we're gonna make it hotter. There you go, it can shoot for what, nine seconds it said? It was pretty accurate. Check. Can't throw flame for nine seconds with max fuel. It's just such a weird sentence. It's a weird small flamethrower. <laughs> well, it was okay. I I don't know. It was okay. <laughs> I don't. What? Uh, where's the actor from? Do you know? I don't know where the original Nikolai actor's from. Maybe the outbreak one was a bit better. I don't know. But mutant is there. The new Nikolai is pretty good. I think he's my favorite part of RE3. Really. He does play the part. You know, being more sadistic and just overall a dick. Must be another mutant. <laughs> also, the way he says chopper. Enrico! Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Uh, hell. Umbrella. <laughs> Who is it? I is someone there? <laughs> How did you become a police officer? Really? Double crosser? What did he mean by that? What did he mean by that? It's almost as if someone <laughs> double-crossed him. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. Are you... Are you sticking your finger in his wound, Chris? He's holding something. That would be totally Chris. And I won't have enough for the crank. You know what? We're gonna make this work. Shouldn't have taken the flamethrower, but here we are. First, equip it. Second, combin. There we go, we combined it. You done there? Nothing else? No, he's not. Okay, I was wondering yesterday if he's got anything else on him. Like maybe a no! Just ignore him. Can't hurt you if he can't see you. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna be a little sweaty. Honeywell. Ooh, I did it this time. Nice. Just run. Run is the run is the game. Honeywell, nah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Medenko, then yes. Honeywell, no. I know you're lefties as well. Oh, that was the that was the heavy slash, I think. Now I'm gonna burn this guy. Cause he's an annoying shit in my way. 
Maybe, maybe it goes no damage, you never know. Maybe I die, and then we have to reset Chris. Are you gonna come? Well, that was better than yesterday. Man, these ticks are disturbing. I don't know why they're more disturbing than the hunters. That was all of the flamethrower already. It did say 8 seconds, so... I don't know, I don't know how to use this efficiently. But here we are. Still fine. Thank God. Yeah, ticks. Ticks do sound different. And they're exclusive to this version, so... It's, it's one of the most talked about points of the Saturn version. They're okay. They're kind of between Chimera and uh, Hunter. Yeah, they're called Ticks. So they replace Hunters in this stage in the um, Garden Underground. Nah, it's a Tick. Yeah, so Hunters until this point, then Ticks from here, only on Saturn. And there's also a gold-colored Tyrant in the battle game. Uh, there are some background changes, I did talk about some of them. I don't know how much you caught there, but... They, I guess they, they did that in the 90s. Remember when they would port the a game, they would make something exclusive to this version, I guess, so people would have the most <laughs> the most logical uh, example is those fighting games. You know, you know the ones I mean. Oof. Okay. Will I be able to kill that guy? Let's try. I'll try to shotgun this this next one. If I even have to kill him, we'll see. Maybe I don't have to. And then after this... I don't know what to do about the spider, really. Ticks, they have insta-kill attack like the hunter. I think they rip your guts out or something like that. Yeah, there's a battle mode, which... Because this episode is going to be shorter, I might play a bit of the battle mode as well. We unlocked it in the next, uh, in the last, the last time I streamed this with Jill. But... What's there? Shotgun shells, was it? No, there's something you need more than shotgun shells. It's... The battle mode is like the precursor to... Hold on, this guy will attack. Uh, all those mini games. Oh, I hate when they do. Like, how did that miss? Nah, it only missed because he's got high frames. Fuck you, buddy. So they're lefties, that's good to know. He's dead. Jeez, takes a full clip, right? No, six. I guess that's better. So what about the spider now? Hmm. <laughs> Should I go save before it? It's a long way. Yellow fine. You know what? I'm gonna go and uh, shuffle my inventory. Bring this. <coughs> Oh, that's the the shimmering. That's the yeah, it does. So because it does happen because the I think we can yeah, you can see it on Chris's back, for instance. Because it's low resolution polygons, these old consoles, it was more noticeable on the mostly noticeable on the Saturn. Then on the PlayStation, it was least noticeable on the N64. And it's normal when the when the polygons are low resolution, so they break as you spin them. It's imperfect. And uh, N64 had filtering modes, which was way ahead of time for a console. It had anti-aliasing, it had, uh, it had by default a blur filter, so games would look better on old TVs. Too bad they don't look as good on new TVs. 
Um, I forgot which effects. Saturn had some effects, not too many, like post-processing effects. And because there's not many of them to smooth things out, you can see that if you can find a, a big shot of him, it's easy to notice. It's easy to notice with big, huge polygons. The bigger they are, the easier it is to see, you know, those artifacts. Yes, definitely. Because that's how they built it. Sega didn't expect the 3D to boom that much. They expected it some kind of a 3D boom in, in the coming years. But they thought, you know, for this generation, we'll make a the, the best 2D console ever. And then PlayStation and Nintendo go like, 3D all the way. <laughs> and I guess people at Sega were like, shit okay make it 3d <laughs> it's got a really good architecture but very hard to program for the the saturn so in the right hands games could look better than on both the n64 and and the playstation but you can say that for any platform any kind of hardware in the right hands like look at what rare did did with the n64 hello dirty hello my dirty sister brother <laughs> Happy holidays, Dirty. Haven't seen you in a few weeks. How are you doing? How's life treating you? You and your sock puppets. In the right hands, any hardware can... Uh, David has shown me some, uh, some uh, Mega Drive or Genesis uh, demos people did in the recent years. So on the original hardware, no, not emulation, not like beefed up Sega, just your regular Genesis Mega Drive console. And... They look like early PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, I heard that too. Okay, so what am I doing here? First, I need to mix these. Yeah, I was gonna say, Gamut, it's easier to see those things now. Um, as as much as it like processes the image from uh, interlace to progressive, so it would look good on stream. Uh, it also because it's better than the old than the interlace TV. You'll see more artifacts now. If we could really play and stream this on a on a on a CRT, it would look gorgeous. But you can see stuff, for instance, yeah, when I get into the menu, it'll be easier to see. Let's see what I want here. I want... Wait, where are the Magnum rounds above? What the fuck did I do? Yeah, I was, I guess I was messing around here. 24 already, nice. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. I hear you, they're still easier to find in the US. My buddy Joe says he's sold one i think he sold his saturn i think or the ps2 one of those to a nearby retro game shop and i'm like you have retro game shops david and i have to go through flea markets go out like underground <laughs> where people threaten you with not not really <laughs> but you know like sketchy schemes to get to these consoles and games and joe's like yeah we have retro game shops <laughs> i've seen those in the uk as well Alrighty, David, alrighty. What else? What else? What else? I'm sorry, I'm a little... I'll just keep using these double greens. I think that'll be that'll do nicely. Two healths, and I'll save again. Look at this, this wastefulness. Was this six save? I said eight ink ribbons will be enough for the whole game. Let's see if I was right. I haven't picked up any since since the mansion, since the since before the guardhouse. But I know there there are some if we need. Look at that seven save. Oh my god. Wesker's gonna be disappointed. Chris, did you use all the ink ribbon? <laughs> Look, his his leg clipped into the chest. So we need that. We need these, and we'll need one. Yeah, I'll try it like this. I just saved. Good for me. Not even a weapon. I'm gonna run weaponless. Because that sprint is just adorable. Alright, we have that. I'll, I'll grab another blue from outside. 
Yeah, it's something I started doing this this year, like two streams ago. Not two streams. When I started streaming uh, RE1 Jills, that's the first time I did that. So normally, Gamut, I would always stockpile greens <laughs> and only mix them with reds. Nothing else. Maybe a blue sometimes if I'm just like clipped by a monster and poisoned, but never I never mixed greens. Honestly, I think the last time I did that was uh, when I first played RE3 on the on two, in the year 2000. <laughs> and it just hit me because I always have issue with space in these... Uh, it's one of those conclusions like last time when you said, I don't even bother killing spy spiders. And I'm like, holy shit, that's a, that's a legit strategy. You can totally not kill the spiders. Uh, so it hit me. You know, every time I'm near the game, I have to go to sift through... Like, the whole chest is full of green herbs. And I'm like, why the fuck am I even doing this? Why not just mix every two greens if there's no red? And it works, especially for Jill. Now, it's different because because <laughs> in Outbreak, and my brain is totally brainwashed by Outbreak, all the HP values are fixed, right? So, from the herbs, from everything, except for the spray. So, red and green will restore 1500 health HP no matter which character you are. But uh, in the in the classics, it was percentual. It was it was like the gravity spell, the opposite of the gravity spell in, uh, in uh, JRPGs. So... I thought if it's percentual, especially for Jill, two greens should be enough. And for Chris, it's almost cheating because he actually restores more HP from two greens than Jill would. And it's working so far. Though I feel like Chris's yellow caution feels, because of that hunter decapitation, it feels more like Jill's orange caution. Even though it should be the opposite, he's stronger. But yeah, I think we have confirmed hunt Hunter's Headhunt when they're low on HP too. That Magnum is going to come in handy for the Tyrant because I'm really feeling the lack of Bazooka in this playthrough. Yeah. <laughs> OG Hunters are great, but no auto-aim just makes them a nuisance. Yeah. Like in Director's Cut, I've, I love fighting OG Hunters, especially on Advanced Mode. It's harder, but th then we can strafe around each other. Not really, but I can run past them and just press R or uh, R1 on the PlayStation. It just snaps onto them. But here it's like, oh, wait, stand there. I'll shoot you in a minute. There's going to be a knife in there, right? Because I didn't bring a knife. Yeah. And I got the flamethrower. I got... Yeah. I'm going to try to go behind the spider and hope for the best. That's my strategy here. Yeah, that, exactly. You saw that with picks and Hunters. How much trouble I had. Fuck you, guy. Wait. Am I burning it? Man, the range on this is shit. Chris, why don't you have a bazooka? Okay, you spit once. Way better than yesterday, I will say. Just keep an eye on the HP. Okay, keep an eye on the HP. Still not poisoned somehow. Cool, okay, this is working so far. Man, that flamethrower has... No, that flamethrower has horrible startup time. I knew that was gonna happen. He's gonna do the cheap two hits and then gnaw on my corpse. Bazooka is the way. I don't. I wonder what happened to... <laughs> to what, what, forests, I was gonna say Richard and Kenneth. Forest Bazooka <laughs> in Chris scenario. Did, did Wesker take it? Okay, take two. Spider. Take two today, Spider. That was good. That was good. Everything was good except the part where I died. That part wasn't good. But the rest of it was good. <laughs> Yes. Yes. So, so they, all of that, <laughs> they have iframes the entire time. But if they co connect it with the jump or a headhunt, with a jump attack or a headhunt, you have no chance. They just do 
they are invincible throughout so many shells wasted really it, that's why it's easier with the bazooka because I don't know even how to explain it I feel like there's still something at the bottom of that shelf even though there should have been let's see yeah that thing looks like some kind of ammo but it, he's gonna try to take the spray is he yeah you know what take it really curious to see what's there nope just nothing just nothing Yeah, yeah, that strategy paid off. Hit and run, literally. You know what, Chris? You can, you can get a, a green herb. Just one though. That would be if I did that last time. I would be able to heal. So next time when I get to orange, just heal. Don't fuck around. Run around him. Burn him. Again, because of the lack of auto aim, the time it takes to turn to aim at the bastard. He's already looking at me. Or actually, she's looking at me. It's a spider. It has a nest. You don't see male spiders around biting. Or wasps, or hornets, or bees. Yes. The HP pools reset until Outbreak. Outbreak is the first Resident Evil that had that would memorize the HP, I think. Not even the remakes. The remake and Zero did that, I think. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not, actually. Maybe Zero did it. I think Zero, maybe Zero was the first one. That would make sense. Beams? Yeah, it does suck. Makes it... I think I reset yesterday. I was fighting something, I forgot what. It wasn't it wasn't plan 42. It was I was fighting an enemy and I was trying to Oh yeah, it was the the hunter at the at the exit. I think it was the hunter or the dog at the mansion at back exit and I was trying to shoot it, but because it takes a few seconds for the character to lift up their uh, weapon and aim before that happens stop it kitty before that happens any press of the action button is considered just an action button not shooting so instead of shooting it i open the door and it reset its health that would make sense for nemesis yes exactly that's that's a good one uh it would make sense also mayor mayor hazard told me that gravedigger's hp depends on the battle before it's not really it remembers um uh, it's hp but it does depend on the first battle i think if you if you beat him in the sewers his hp is cut in half or something like that but yeah Nem ne i don't think nemesis is nemesis is, is, is <laughs> hp resets because that would make sense if you're he, he can he can i think that's what it's connected with see uh before someone even said it before re1 the only times you would see a zombie use a door was um, in the in RE1 in the kitchen, right? And in RE2 in the back of the RPD near the parking lot, you know the door, the scary door. But yeah, I didn't know that. Mayo Hazard told me. Yeah. So and I tried it in the stream, it seemed to work. So if you fight it, if you fight Gravedigger in the sewers just before your tram. And you actually defeat it. I think you gotta. Yes, yes, exactly. The acid rounds that melts his its HP away for the second battle, something like that. But it did work. It was a very easy battle for hard mode. Small things, dirty. Small details. They're the best. They're, that shows the attention to detail. That's why people like Metal Gear Solid so much. You fall into a cave. You can't see shit. You wait a minute. Your character's eyes adjust, you can see around you. That's just... Nobody asked for it, but it's wonderful. Oh no! So I gotta be faster. Okay, he's stuck. He gets stuck sometimes from the flame. Shit, shit. 
Oh, no, 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 not the, not the arms. Poison? Fine. Good, Chris, good. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. What do you think, zombie? Can I burn the, the cobwebs off with the flamethrower? Is that worth trying? Without fighting the black tiger? Let's try that. Let's try that. You know what? I'm gonna try. I never tried it. Fuck it. I died so many times. Nope. Oh, wait. It works. Oh, my God. It works. I have never tried this. Teste, zombie, you guys are geniuses. I'm good. You can't kill me now because I have... I have a strategy that doesn't involve killing you, bastard. There's no point in killing him, really. All right, are we good? We're great. Nice, nice. I have never tried that. It Teste, Teste uh, suggested it yesterday. And I thought, you know, I doubt they would do that. That's way better than what I did. <laughs> That's loads better. All right. Thank you, zombie. Thank you, Teste. You gotta love this. Man, I've been playing this game for... 20... 23 years. Dear God. And I've never tried this. That's wonderful. That's This is why we love these games. I feel... I feel, I know, there's an ink ribbon, I, I should, why not take one now, yeah. That's, 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 that's the thing that I don't like, that ticks me off in the, in our, in the remakes. Oh really, you knew, <laughs> you just let me suffer. Fuck him, not important, this time. Hmm. There we go. We got an extra weapon. Did I leave space for that? I think I counted on it. Cold Python, Magma Rounds. Yeah, Flamethrower. I, I remembered that. <laughs> Mixed Herbs against Poison. I don't even need to go back anymore. Just gotta get the last Wolf of the West and we're done. So I'm gonna pack this up. That's another with blue, right? Need that. I'm actually gonna bring the Beretta down into the lab, I think. Or maybe not. This should be enough. I ah, don't fuck around. We've seen what how Chris does things. Eagle Metal will need that. Mo disc not yet. Magneto optical disc. I don't think they're those are in use anymore. It's basically a a rewritable disc. Even though they were more popular in Asia. Japan specifically they for some reason they decided to make them the main <laughs> main uh, means of transferring data in these games so that's what I need this the crank that's it let's go Chris Chrissy you didn't die thank zombie for that <laughs> you saved Chris zombie I thought you didn't like him <laughs> Snakes, oh my god, not the snakes, please, not the snakes. They look lo oh, I'll need the flamethrower, will I? Oh, you bastards. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, snakes, the snakes everywhere. My god, so many snakes. I gotta say, on the Saturn is the first time I've ever... Uh, these snakes ever looked like snakes. I swear, on, the, on PS1, the... The snakes look like eels. I always thought they were eels. What was I? Yeah, flamethrower. You're not going away with a flamethrower. What did you think? This is easy? <laughs> Honestly, I think I was thinking about it earlier during downtime at work. Uh, Chris Redfield is... I would... I'm... Like, of the main four characters, I think Chris is my least favorite character. Yet he's in... Oh, it has an umbrella logo. Nice. Yet he's in so many games. 
I've said it before. I really think this guy should get a get, retire or something. It's enough, man. <laughs> he's been doing this in game. In game, in game, he's been doing it for 30 years, man. He spent more of his time fighting bioweapons than not. It's just sad. Oh, is this gonna kill me? Did I save? You know what? Doesn't matter. The zombie just saved us. I remember this one killed me once when I was younger. I've messed up. So let's see now. Oh. I don't think I need to do that, but let's see. I remember it worked with one of them. Oh, it's gonna go after me as after I use this, right? It would be cool if I could just have it fall into that hole. Oh, why did I exit? Actually... I know I tried this before. I'm 99% sure. Yeah, it's not gonna do shit. It's a very smart trap. AI rocks. <laughs> and I think the map... The map of the courtyard is here. I mean, where I just came out of. Which is silly. Do I run now? Yet, I guess. It should be somewhere here in the last room, right? Or maybe it's maybe it's where I'm about to go. Did I get the map of courtyard? The underground? No, I didn't. But I know oh it's behind the rock. It's gonna be behind the rock. Like, hey, you know the thing you just opened? Well, here's the map. Right? Right rock? Mind. Probably when I exit, it's gonna chase after me. Charge! Ah, no. I always forget how that works. It's always with these rocks. <laughs> Poking him from the side. With a stick. It was here, I think. X? Yes. I love the pistol. <laughs> George's uh, pill gun. As an addition to that. What a... What exactly kills you when the spider spits on you? I know spiders are supposed to be venomous and all, but they deliver the toxin through their uh, mandibles, not, you know, they don't spit at you. If, they, if it spat poison at you, you'd be like, okay, you wash your hands. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, eat through your skin. Doom Book 2. Eagle of East, Wolf of West. There was a medal. There was a medal. Not anymore. Wolf medal. Alright. Rock, is it your time? Spiders? Really? Like spit? How does that work? Because it should be in your bloodstream to, you know, to hurt you. So what do they exactly do with that? Shit, I gotta escape this shit now. Why is it not chasing me? Should I go and touch it? Do I want it to chase me? Well, of course I do. Why wouldn't I want the rock to chase me? What am I? Someone who doesn't have a death wish? I think you just go straight in there. Just hold right and straight and run and you'll be the... Um, don't break it. There's the map. I knew it was somewhere there. Somewhere done. Goodbye. Oh, look. <laughs> it's leaving smoke. Was that? I guess that's dust. Underground. 
It's the map of underground. From the biohazard. There's the second MO disc. That's what we need, yeah? We can totally skip that. You know, if I'm going for all the endings in Silent Hill games, I should really go for all the endings in, you know, Resident Evil games with multiple endings. It's sad that they, you know, that stopped being a thing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm actually interested in that. How does that work? Huh. Also, guys, does anybody know where this door leads? Is it Was it supposed to lead somewhere? That's been bugging me forever. Oh, look, it's time for disc two. Wait, west? Where's west? So, this one's west. That means... Uh, wolf. No, it's over there. Oh, that would be... That would be great, yeah. Oh, they didn't even try with that. Look, it's clipping into the base. I never noticed that. <laughs> who would have who do, who would have noticed that in 96? People were raving about this game even existing. Alright, let's mix some more green herbs. Or don't actually bring green herbs. Maybe there's gonna be more reds. There's really there's really really very few red herbs with Chris Redfield. It makes no sense. But Jill gets a lot more. He could use them more, definitely. Because you can heal... Well, no, actually, like I said, yeah. <laughs> you would think that, but again, this is not Outbreak. So he actually cheats. In a way. Yep, it's loading <clears throat> the next map. <clears throat> Are there pale heads here, I wonder? <clears throat> this one also goes nowhere. No, that's that's also towards Heliport. Tightly locked, but not welded. Oh, you know what? If if it is what you say, if it is, if the door upstairs really leads to the heliport gamut, then it would make sense that it was welded because they didn't they didn't want the infected researchers to escape. So they did forbid anyone to leave the leave the estate. Anyone trying to leave would be shot. That's what the I think the keeper's diary says that. So it would make perfect sense. But why is there a, a like a drainage pipe here? I'll never understand. Here and in the wall. Like, why? <laughs> Just why? I wonder if we're gonna have more ticks. Oh wait, I did that wrong actually, my bad. Not even that. There we go. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Maybe it's closer from here. Nope. Yeah, actually it is. Hex crank. We got the shotgun. I'm gonna use a few... Can you use the mo... Yeah, I can use the ammo disc somewhere here. And let's get a Beretta and lose the rest of the bullets. There are gonna be a couple of them outside. Now, I do know that some pale heads respawn. I think they're downstairs in the lab. The respawning ones. <clears throat> You know this these textures and this this feel and look 
That's what RE 1.5 was doing. Oh, not even pale heads, just. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop that, man. You shouldn't make uh, me laugh when I'm trying to kill you. Uh, no, he's dead. <laughs> you guys, you didn't have to. <laughs> uh, okay, there, he's pet. Did you poison me? It was too close. Nah, I'm fine. I'm used to being sp sped at. I'm Chris. No. No. Only three bullets. Why are they so easy? No. No. They're too easy. What is this? What is this? Is there another one here? Yep. Okay, you guys are just joking. These these are cosplayers. This these can't be real zombies. Listen to that. <laughs> what the fuck? Who thought this was scary? Like, why would you change them? They were they were scary enough on the on the PlayStation. Yeah, they weren't perfect, but they were they were okay. Oh, another ammo. This. Don't I use one somewhere here? Oh, it's just just the phone. Silly me. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't notice this plate until last year or so, so like 20 years later. Am I full? Yeah, of course I'm full. I'm Chris. What did you expect? Not to be full? Pack them up. Pack this up as well. Oh, there you go. Well, we have all three ammo discs. Okay. But I guess bring one. I think we can use one right away downstairs. Mm -mm -mm. I'm leaving the clip because I'm going to find another one down there. I know. Gotta change my arm stance a bit. It's getting tiring. Oh yeah, we have these too. I'll bring them later. Here? I think it's here. What I'm looking for? Or maybe not. This is just a room, maybe. Ah, we'll see. Somewhere here there's a GameCube <laughs> to put the ammo disc in. Oh no, it's the password room. There should be a clip in the sink, I think. Right? Nope. Now! Do it now! <clears throat> Researcher's letter, that's, so that's from John. It, is the password the same? I know they changed it in some versions. Oh, it's small still, okay. Then, then I'm thinking about the remake again. <laughs> I keep doing that. <laughs> is there a... Did I unlock all the desks? Do I have more desk keys? I think I unlocked all the desks. Oh, look at that. Someone left a nice pot plant here. Pot plant. <laughs> I just got that. Uh, that was unintentional. <laughs> yep, clip. Okay, a lot of the item spawns are identical, but some just aren't. We don't even. Do you need to see this? It's RE1. You might need to. You know how cool. That was a really cool effect. I think it was more abrupt on the PlayStation, right? It was more like flickering on, right? Or maybe I'm wrong. That's pretty cool. 
three apple man woman. Yeah, it's more. Three apple man woman. <laughs> The fuck was I doing in the year 2000? This. There it is. The jail cell. So. So. I think it was only. Still locked. Yeah, I gotta take care of that. Only. Last year. That I realized that. Uh, you can go into the into Chris's cell. Actually, in the remake, it's pretty cool because there's a surveillance camera, and they use that as the you know camera angle. Is he gonna bite me in the face? No, he's not. But these guys. Oh my God, are you good guy? Can't see the other zombie. Will he move? No, he's not up for moving. I guess. Let's try to... Ah! <laughs> you heard me. You heard me. Fuck you, actually. You're slow. <laughs> pale heads. I like pale heads. You there? Am I close? Sir, please. Wow! Nothing without taking their heads off. Man, what the the shotgun's damage drop off is just horrendous. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I was gonna say. So yeah, that's how I got to that. <clears throat> I figured it out this year, this summer. Like I mean, last summer, on um, in the remake, and I thought. What would be you know? Can I go in? Can I go back in there? See what's see what's inside, and I was really surprised to see that surveillance camera being used, you know, for the static camera angle with the uh, with the uh, noise and everything you would have from a uh, CCTV in the 90s. And then I tried it here and I found that ammo. I was like, really? <laughs> Seven shells. A lot of wasted ammo with Chris. It's really sad. Can you do something with these? Like some kind of research. Yeah, it's again remake when uh, when it's when they when they're open. See the breaking there, Gamut? It's in those squares. You can see like little squares or rectangles. Those rectangles are actually where the polygon is where the angles are <laughs> so they are shaded differently now if you do this on the emulator and you upscale it you up the resolution there's a good chance with filtering it would be at least somewhat eliminated because the precision would be higher so what's happening is basically it's imprecise it does what it needs to do to, to get the game running and to be able you know to be visible on a CRT that's what it's what's important Yeah. <laughs> so you have you have a lot of fun with these games too, huh? <laughs> there you go. We we seen how you type, Chris, with two index fingers only. So don't pretend. Well, it was John Ada, right? I always forget which one goes first. BS. Is that if you press that? Uh, is it like Chris's button? BS zombie. Oh, that's pretty cool. He he typed exactly what we told him to type. That's that's wonderful. Uh, B three works right away. He he's literally punching that keyboard. Oh, nice. He's got a different motion. So Jill just does the thumbs up. Cool. Man, as much as I know Jill's story. Okay, I don't Liam, know this I'm one. Coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Oh, Teste, you're in the wrong dimension. I'm crying in the other parallel universe. <laughs> How are you doing, Teste, my friend? 
What was it? Mole. Molly, Molly, Molly. M O L L okay E is on the left but I'll forgive you Fuck yeah did you just cuz over here when you do this it's like giving someone the dick you literally put it like this your one arm here and the other one just like bends over it it's hard to show like like this ah up yours literally up yours did he just up yours the computer Another timeline, yes. <laughs> Come on, stupid computer. I will punch you. Quit. I will quit. But only because I want to. I'm not afraid of you. You need to go punch. That's how you turn off the computer. You punch the keyboard. <laughs> really, the word dumb. We can say dumb here. We're all adults and... Not, not easily offended. <laughs> Come on, I will up yours, computer. <laughs> what is this? Like, is it... <laughs> am I in the tanning salon? I need some tan. Can I, how do I get in here? Nothing special. It is special. I need some tan. This night mission is doing really bad for my skin. <laughs> this is a family friendly stream. If your family is. Not allergic to humor, I guess. Oh, they don't respawn, really? Come on, naked zombie. Then here. I wanna shoot you in the face. Come on. You bit me last time, you bastard. Please die. I have a shotgun with your name on it. There you go. It said stupid zombie. Oh, there you go. That one respawned. They do respawn after all. Very much so. Can I can I run past him? I can try. <laughs> How would you even say Rebecca? Rebecca, Rebecca, come here. Get down, Rebecca. I'm trying to save you. I will run past this zombie now. That's the door. I have no time for this. I'm trying to save the Arkley Mountains. I'll show you. When I twist this knob, it's gonna open now. <laughs> Come on, Wesker. I'm trying to show you something here. There's zombies. I'm gonna die. Wesker, you gotta help me, boss. Boss, help me, boss. Mwah. We have more shells. Die monsters. So beefy. Are you still beefy, my friend? So beefy. Hello. <laughs> Say hello to my spreading friend. I don't know why I gave him a soft R, but there you go. He's got a soft R now. What is this? Ah! Bullshit. I was elected to lead and not to read. So I'm not gonna read. I'm leading this operation because I'm the only... <laughs> I was dumb enough to survive somehow. <laughs> Excite 1998. Cardboard and posters. Nothing useful. Well, those researchers gotta do something. Oh, there's one. GameCube. It's not a GameCube. It's, it's a passcode output machine. If I had a mode disk, I could get the code. Here we go. A more disc. Take my more disc. Passcode 01. I can't read that because I'm a leader, not a reader. I got people who, who read for me. Most of them are fiction books. <laughs> You're nothing special. I am special. I am Arnold Redfield. I am the spawn of the gods. When I punch boulders, they become sand. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Lupka has never seen anything past RE3. Er, and Outbreak recently. But when we were little, she never seen past RE3. And uh, I, I can't wait for her to see that. 
it, we're still in negotiations. It's possible that uh, RE5 will be with Seward Sheep if he's unavailable. Sasha will gladly fill fill in for him. And um, what else did we unlock? Yeah, the slide slideshow room. And uh, RE6 should be Joe slash mutation. I would love to do it with my nephew Milos, but our schedules just wouldn't work. Milos is the one who got me into RE6. I have avoided that. I have avoided that game like a plague for a long. You know what? Chill out, man. There you go. Fine and then. I have avoided it for what? 2013 till 2020. Seven years. Seven long years or eight. I think it came out in 2013. I've avoided RE6. I played the demo in 2013, just literally, I think, on the day, my first date with Sasha. I, uh, I got the new computer, and I remember I tried it, and I was like, this isn't for me. It was the demo on Steam. It was free. I'm familiar physics symbols are written here. It's for, <laughs> for CC man. No, I will not open it. I will punch it. Oh really? <laughs> Man, I still can't believe we live in a world where Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor of California. I just, I know it happened. I, I was there. I existed, but my brain just can't wrap itself around it. <laughs> but then, then, <laughs> then more stuff happened in the future. So, in the well past from here. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So I came to the stream. I'm gonna start reading people's messages as, <laughs> as, uh, as, uh, as Arnold. <laughs> I'm here, bro. I'm listening, but looking for some papers. Gotta share my observation. You were somewhat serious until Tested Drive came on stream. <laughs> well, I was serious until, until someone <laughs> redeemed fucking Arnold. No, oh, nobody redeemed fucking Arnold. Please don't, do not redeem. We don't have a redeemed fucking Arnold. <laughs> Umbrella incorporated by a weapon materials. Yeah, we know these. Do I have to look? Do, is this necessary? I could have totally skipped this, I think. Hello. You're my favorite. You're not my favorite. You're blank. The Wesker in this scene looks like he was photoshopped. And that guy all the way on the left looks like the main scientist from RE movies. I forgot his name. The guy that's there until the end of the series. <laughs> Fucking Arnold. <laughs> that's it for this room. Let's go. Le let's -a go. I think we'll have time for at least an attempt at a battle game. I'm really curious to see what that's like. So it's one of those uh, bonus games, si mini games of RE I've never played. And knowing how i actually got into leech hunter this year last year again it's new new year i i said at work today ah oh, we're in 2022 and people just looked at me like, huh are you really <laughs> but yeah i remember i didn't like why well, i didn't even like the fucking mercenaries but uh yeah, that's why i didn't like outbreak as well when i was little <laughs> when i was little when I was younger, because it felt like a like a feature game of Mercenaries Operation Mad Jackal, and I wasn't for it. But then I had the same opinion of uh, you know what? Mix those. Leech Hunter. Why did you press death? <laughs> it's B. That's not start. But then last summer I finished RE Zero, and I was like, oh, well, let's try it, and. Uh, it was fun. I didn't finish it. It's God. It's hard, but it's something I will stream in the future for sure. I guess like that, and then like that, and then like that, and then like that. No, and believe the. Wait, I'm not gonna use. Will I? Hmm. I can't really. <laughs> hmm. Lab key. Do we need this? No, we don't. I'm not gonna go anywhere with 3-5 clips. This should be more than enough for what's waiting. 
You know what I will bring? I will bring an ammo disc because I'm pretty sure there's one of those game cubes in the in the power room or something. No, it's in the it's in the morgue, I think. Fuck it, we'll just find out. There's gonna be a safe room right there, so fuck it, just ah. That's Chris's running sound. Very impractical lab. So, where I came in through, that's, um, that's the, what do you call that? Like, emergency exit, right? But, where's the real exit? Because you, you can't tell me these people went to work uh, climbing stairs. That makes no sense. Oh my god, you guys really? Charge! Oh! Well, you know what? I come. I came this far. Fuck you! We gotta find that power room. I think it's here. Ah, oh, shit, man! Do you have to? Ah! Cheater! I didn't even get to aim. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. I should spend minimal time fighting these guys. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Why do I think that key is for another door there? I have no idea. Again, something from the... Is this door openable? Nah, that door... The door should be sealed. Fuck. I gotta try it. For science! It's locked from inside. That's right. That's what I thought. That was a waste of ammo. I have what? Three more clips. Clips. <laughs> the real exit <laughs> is the friends we made. Oh, also the, the floor. I don't remember this on the floor. Like the guide signs. Are these guys responsible? We'll find out. Man, so much is mixed from different versions. No, this way, guy. Never mind, sir. We'll I'll see you another time. I guess. <laughs> the grand. <laughs> yeah, the li So that's 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 a very nice observation, uh, Teste, because uh, Romero's Living Dead movies were a huge inspiration for the original RE. So that's a very nice observation on your part. So, I think it'll be easier for me to explain vocally. <laughs> grand production, <laughs> grand production, grand production, grand produkcija, I guess, is a Serbian turbo folk uh, music label. And uh, throughout the 90s, they, they just rose from nothing and dominated the Serbian music industry. So they were so big that they ate all the other... <laughs> All their all of their competitors like the old uh, labels from the 60s to to 80s 90s most of them were defunct but grand production can grand producia kept rising <laughs> they have a coffee brand as well grand coffee grand coffee and a couple other things but anyway turbo Folk got so much out of hand that uh, <laughs> that's a way to explain it that uh, some 15 years ago, some guy made a, an animated movie for his, uh, what do you call that, graduation? Yes, love? Well, yeah, for graduation. And uh, it was called Jet Set. <laughs> it's South Park style animated movie. It is a movie. It takes like two hours or something. And it's this, one of these, <laughs> one of these Turbo Folk singers aliens invade right <laughs> during the <laughs> during the fucking i don't even know how to say it in, in in english during the music festival in uh in in like in a forest 
where they made like in a small town near a for big forest where they made this these are all known places they only mean anything to you so i'll try to make it short anyway he's the only one who doesn't get what do they do to that they killed every yeah they killed all the turbo folk singers and he's the only one who survives because he was drunk or something so he goes on this crusade trying to get these guys uh just like wipe him out but uh, <laughs> he uh, they realized that the aliens weak spot is turbo folk music so all they had to do was sing so they give him a mic he sings and their heads explode and that's like yeah it is Grand Kaffa is it's the same it's all Lepa Brenna's brand Grand Kaffa or is it Lepa Brenna or is it those two actors I forgot their names but yeah <laughs> no she doesn't she didn't play or see in resident evil until we met she thought it's like because she's not a fan of horror she wasn't interested in it she thought it's not something people obsess about but then um <laughs> well it is scarier than resident evil but then i was i was very insistent <laughs> like that's one of my favorite games you gotta see it franchises not games and she indulged me and she actually liked it which is huge for Sasha she's like I said she's not a horror fan and it made me happy but she does play outbreak with us sometimes we gotta get her a new controller receiver for the PC but uh, yeah when the when the internet's back you'll see her playing I'm sure what else do I need I got yeah I'll need one email disk I'll take one of double greens in case those chimeras get hungry Green, green, green. Green, green, green. What was that? That was hot shots. Not gonna take the magnum yet. I don't need the cranks. Yeah, that's it. Good to go. 25 shells. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find more shells somewhere. Like I'm finding these... Uh... That's just a blue. Like I'm finding these magnum rounds everywhere. It should be more than enough for... Did you just link them to Jet Set? <laughs> You gotta find a, a version with subtitles, otherwise they won't, they won't understand. Yeah. Someone did English, look at that, like, face in the, oh, that's pretty graphic. I, I wanna repeat that, sorry guys. I'm just gonna exit again. I found, uh, I found Svako Dobro 2 with, uh, with English subtitles, Ljubka, and they're phenomenal. I had to play it for Mark, and now. It's it's pretty good subtitles. Let's see that face again. That's that's a rare sight. It's right there. His face is in our face. Look at him. My god, it's pretty detailed. For 1994, I think they started developing this. There he goes. Sir. Oh, there's another one there. Someone fell? Oh no, he's just moving. Okay. Should have gone back. Never mind. I'll go there later. Mrs. Gamma tried Resident Evil 2 once, made it to the police station, said she couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, I, I get it. Resident Evil, that's not a good. I think the best Resident Evil of the classics to start on is RE3 Easy Mode. Because you start with that assault rifle, especially for people who have never played anything like that. I say that because that was my first experience and it made it very playable and then when i got more comfortable well right after ret i went to re1 <laughs> dc though so director's cut so that was oh cheater so that was okay wait where's that there should be one of those i think it's here in this room yes exactly just like sasha Check health. Can they insta kill? Ah, yellow fine. I don't think they can. Can they? I think they can rip your head off or something. Hey, hey! How did you do that, man? That's not. Stop that! No! Don't get stuck on the wall, you dum dum! Don't get stuck on the wall. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm so dead. Am I? 
Oh shit, that, that was really... I'm gonna go back for more herbs. Just because it would be smart. Nah, I'll be fine. No, fuck, don't, don't fuck around. <laughs> don't fuck. You know what? Save now. I keep forgetting to do that. I think the best way to explain that to someone who doesn't like horror, it's not about getting scared and stressed out. You don't really get... You don't get bad stress if you like these games. You know what I'm talking about. You get you get excited. That's what it's like for me. That's why you hear me screaming. <laughs> that specific uh, uh, hippie scream <laughs> when I'm running from a monster. Go, oh! <laughs> I'm excited. I love that. I, I'm not really gonna get hurt, so I don't get, you know, and I, I, I I'm, I'm not gonna really get injured. So you know, my brain knows that somehow. Wait, is there more double greens? Those are all both blues, right? Yeah, they are. Since we got four greens, let's make some double greens. Yeah. 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 It's... I guess it's like with the movies, so... I don't think Sash would ever see Evil Dead without me. <laughs> and then without Evil Dead, there's no army of darkness, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, so... I get that. But it's also kind of... Remember when we first played these games and you were actually scared? Well, you don't get that much. It's more like excitement now. You don't get scared scared. Yeah, that's what I want to do first. And save. <laughs> I'll come back to save. I was gonna do power first, but fuck it. Is this where I gotta fight them? Well, they... No, it's not. I think the shells, not the table. Are you blind, man? Like, there's shells right in, in front of your face. There you go. Back to four clips. So now this shit. What was it? We gotta push these boxes on the... Yeah. I totally forget about this room. I don't know how I erased this room from my memory, but here we are. Hmm, I think I gotta... Don't step on it, don't step on it. No, I'm just gonna step on it. Dun dun. I think the real way... No, there's, that's not a good way to do it. I gotta push this here. And push this out. No, that's not gonna work. Shit. What did I do the last time? How do we do this? How do we cover the other hole? Because as soon as you step on that, it starts spewing poison, right? Oh, I think I think I have an idea. Hold on, hold on. Huh, like that. Then push it a bit down. Then a bit. No, that's not gonna work. Like that, maybe? Yeah. This one can go here. Not too much, though. It should work. Hmm, maybe. You know what? You can always go the long way. Push it out later. It's like that. Unless I fucked it up. In which case, we'll just reset the room. All the way, I guess. And then like this. Now, if you step on this, there you go, it works. Nice. Okay, no one's dying from gas today. Why is this in the, in the operating room? I mean, Spencer, man, there's a limit to everything. And that goes, you know, for deadly traps as well. What, if the patient tries escaping through the vent, you just suffocate them with poison? What's the point? <laughs> Nice depth perception. Dumbash. There you go. Is it done? It's done. I did want to check that uh, shelf there. He's walking like he's got a... Not a stick, a metal bar up his ass. Do we get in? We 
we're gonna get pestered by chimeras and I didn't save which was so dumb it's a passcode yeah that's what I'm looking for thank you for the raid Wesky welcome to the stream raiders welcome everyone welcome to Resident Evil 1 on the Sega Saturn we're doing the Chris playthrough we sent him to to purgatory <laughs> Way more times than he wanted. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. We got the second passcode. I got a triple check. Ever since I called uh, Morshi Wesky. Actually, last time I called... When I called Morshi Wesky, that's the last time I saw him. I haven't seen him since. <laughs> Hello, hello, Wesky. How are you doing, man? What did Wesky stream? Can can the mods help out? Is there more of them? Oh, there are. They just randomize their positions, I guess. What what did what did you stream? The forest. Nice. So you're liking the forest, huh? Hello? Oh, he saw me now. Alright, I'm gonna save here. Just because I don't know what Chris and Chimera's... Obviously, his head is vulnerable to hunters. We've seen that. His guts are vulnerable to ticks. Well, I'm just assuming his guts are vulnerable to ticks. So I'm gonna say... Fun and peaceful? Really? I thought it was a scary game. It's going great, man. It's going great. I'm learning stuff I didn't know for 20 years. I didn't know you can burn the cobwebs in the Black Tiger fight. The the big spider. I did not know you can burn the cobwebs. You know, and just without killing it. So we learned that. We learned that Chris is vulnerable to hunters. <laughs> he lost his head twice, I think. Yeah, save. I keep forgetting to save. Yeah. So I died twice at the Black Tiger and then... Test aim. Yeah, test aim. Yeah, I didn't tell you. There you go. You weren't there uh, when that happened. So test aim suggested yesterday, why don't you just... You know, get rid of the cobwebs and run. Because this, is, this, is, this, isn't, this isn't a game with... Uh, with uh, without auto-aim and with Chris's... Chris's weaponry really lacks. I really miss that bazooka that Jill has for many things. But um, yeah, it did work. So, man, I already forgot. Who suggested that today? It wasn't Gamut. Who was it? Hold on. Sorry, my brain is 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Was it dirty? Oh, it's zombie. I'm sorry. Zombie Chow. Zombie Chow suggested it again today. Let's just, just go for the door. And I was like, okay, let me try. I, Because normally I would take the knife to knife the door. You know what I'm talking about. But then it works with the flamethrower. Instead of fighting the bastard, the cheap spider bastard, I just burn the door, the cobwebs. I think and you got to do it three times, three layers, and just escape. The, he's still there in the cavern. He's not going to live for long. I hear there's a triggering system in this... Uh, this mansion hello sir la, la. he's got bad teeth okay it's time to kill him i like having him hang around there but or maybe not let's see where he goes i'll leave him a bit more he's our fun friend i gotta extract these uh moans and groans from the saturn version so where do I go first? I think I gotta go... I forgot how the power thing goes, man. It's been years, but I think I gotta go somewhere... Whoa! I gotta go all the way back, activate something, then come here and activate something. Something like that. I did forget. I thought it's that corner where I got stuck with chimeras, but apparently it wasn't. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. And check the map right away. Hmm. 
So where is that? We go there. So where I where I am just now, that's uh that's uh it's a dead end. So what I need to do is go back okay, yeah, it's the same as in the remake. At least the, they didn't change the layout. Oh man. Oh yeah, it worked. Oh Jesus, is there more of them? Or am I tripping balls? Good evening, Dr. Nick. <laughs> Hello, Carter. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Power connection switch. The elevator power is off. Will you connect it? Yes. Will you connect it? Okay, the power is not supplied to the elevator. That's the opposite of what we wanted, so we're gonna go here. Okay, it's this one first. It's triggering system. I know. I gotta go back. It's quite big. <laughs> wink, wink. I'm doing great, man. I'm like the game I've known for 30 years almost. I'm uh, I'm learning new stuff about it. So that's always J Johnny Pooh. Welcome, senpai. Good to see you. Oh, there goes my face. I did save just now. I don't care. So it's gotta be there. Woohoo! Mutated flies. How are you, John? Are you working? Were you working? Are you rested? Or are you, as you say it? Was well, it dead or dying? I always forget. So I'm gonna try again from the other side. I fucked something up. I think there's gotta be where you would take the nitro in the in the remake. I think there's a switch there. I don't know why it wouldn't work before, but well, let's try it. Or maybe I need to go to the elevator first. Can't remember. Still in that. Well, I wish you a stressless move. Migration. To the new... I know there's a switch somewhere here. And there it is. Yeah, I remembered this. Then I gotta go back there. If they kill me, I just saved, so... I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you. I have a, I have a typewriter. Woo! Good to see you too, senpai. Charge! Oh, I'm gonna get slapped. Oh, I'm gonna get slapped so hard. Oh, that, that attack is super inconvenient. Yeah, our legend of music and art. Just now activate the power and then go back. But they're not... So in the remake, I'm pretty sure they... they uh, the Chimera centered this room as well. Oh. So it doesn't matter which order you do it. I already did it. Nice. And I remember on the PlayStation they did that, but apparently I'm wrong. And that's a big generator. So they have... We've seen at least... I think what, there's one nuclear generator um, in the basement. Don't know how and why, but there it is. Ouch! So there we go. Goodbye, Chris. We loved you, but it wasn't meant to be. Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. Can I see how I'm dying? No, he's not dying. Okay. I guess the power to take more bites in the face really pays off. What would you like more? The super, which po superpower would be your superpower? Carrying more items and uh, lockpicking doors or being able to withstand more bites in the face? No friend, I don't want to kill you. Is he gone? Oh, they despawn after you do that. Oh, too bad. I like that guy. Now, let's get ready for... Whoo, look at that. For the ultimate life form. Luke, we are going to see some funny shit now. I hope you're sitting. Alrighty, Wesky. Hi, please. Thanks for stopping by, Wesker. Thanks for the raid as well, for bringing the peeps over here. Check out Sexy Wesky, <laughs> Professor Wesker, if you haven't. Amazing streams.
Good night, my friend. This calls for a red green. This is what I've been saving you the whole game for this moment. Um, fine and dandy. Okay. Hmm. Would it be foolish to bring both the Magnum and Shotgun? Or would it be exactly what we want? 42 Magnum rounds. Well, that's pretty cool. I don't need the Shotgun. I don't need anything after this. So I'm gonna use all the Shotgun I can before switching to Magnum. And bring one, two, three, four. Only four, huh? Well, we'll bring... One of these and one of those. Ah, that should be fun. That should be more than enough. Save, don't save. Because I have a good excuse then. If they if it kills me, I have a good excuse to go back. The Chimeras. Chimera Revenge. Wesky now? Chris! No, it's it's Rebecca. What kind of crazy shenanigans will you get us into now? Rebecca, you're safe. I saw you in the garden. I've caught up with you at last. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait, don't go out alone, but why didn't you tell her that when she said I'll be with you and then wasn't? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Chris, you're a horrible senior member. This girl will learn nothing from you. <laughs> Are you ready, Lupka? Get ready. Get ready for the, for the Oscar performance <laughs> of Albert Wesker and Chris Redfield. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong. I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with a tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. Okay. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? <laughs> yeah, like this. Oh Rebecca. shit! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. <laughs> I have something to show. What the you. fuck? Now. Wrote this. Walk. Uh, his pistol is gone. Grab him. I forgot him. So yeah, I haven't seen this in 16 years, right? <laughs> and this is just yeah, this is the original Wesker before he had British accent. But uh, yeah, this one. It makes more sense. So I gotta say, Wesker's monologue to Chris is way better than the one to Jill. What we just heard. He did spin the story to his, you know, that that's more Wesker than like when he talks to Jill, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you. He was trying to, he was trying to give him the finger, but he's in stasis, so he can't. He, like with all his strength, he just did. <laughs> like this. Is this? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure 
is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not. I'll show you. Here we go. The Oscar line. That's the second Oscar line. Chris, stop it. That's the Oscar line. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, you forgot to put his heart inside his body. Run, Chris. Run. I know you can take more bites in the face, but man, you don't want to fuck with this can't guy. Kill me. He can't kill me? He can. That's the, that's the issue with this guy. He can kill you very easy, very fast. But without auto-aim, you're kind of fucked, Chris. So, Carter, I'm thinking about your question. I think, canonically, Capcom made it... What? How? You have the shittiest shotgun in, in the history of shotguns. Uh, they're both canonical. Well, not both. I think canonically. Oh no, you're not good. Woo! It was both uh, Chris and Jill that went through the mansion. Okay, he's not. He's he's not. He's no T double O or Nemesis. It just takes patience, that's all. With my long range shotgun. Third? Yeah, go for the third. Charge! Here we go. What a miserable death. I'm gonna contemplate that as I'm killing his savior. No! Don't come this way! Oh, you came this way. That was not the, the deal. Oh, don't come this way. That's the word. Either I'm blind or <laughs> it's very hard to hit with this, with anything, like the Plan 42 fight. Sir, you do not regenerate HP, so it's it's your it's in your interest to die faster. Did I get him? I think I got him. I also gotta check my HP because this is because this is. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't limp when he's hurt like like later and that's that's the easy worst I'm trying to wipe this smirk off my face I'm sorry but I just can't that that is that is art <laughs> that conversation just now that was art let's do a menu reload I'll forgive myself this one <laughs> da huh this is where it all started with this tyrant fight. The Resident Evil. Are you are you fucking blind man? How am I missing? It's a fucking shotgun. Run, run you fool. Run. Oh no, he's smoking. Why is he smoking? <laughs> the reverse, reverse. He's melting. Oh no, he's melting. I'm trying to do several things. Well, here we go. Reverse controller. Did you melt? He melted. Oh my god, that is terrible. Terrible. That is very terrible. B. What a miserable death. Oh. <gasps> There's another one? Oh yeah, nobody said anything about the other one. What the f No, I had enough tyrants for today. Oh shit. Oh, I guess not. He disagrees. I'm so dead. 
I'm so dead because everything is backwards. Oh shit. What the hell? I think this is exclusive to the Saturn. I've heard something about this, but the... Uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna die. I can't do this backwards. I'm sorry. I'm try. So forward and right will be this. I gotta press A and that and then run. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. What the I'm sorry, love. I know there was a dub, but this is too exciting. Oh. What the? Can I exit? I don't think I can exit. It's still red. No, I can't even... I can't even aim. What the hell? <laughs> Nobody said anything about the second tyrant. Sir? Oh, there he is. He seems slower, though. He seems a lot slower. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> uh, I've, I, I remember hearing something about this, but... About the second tyrant, but I've, I've never seen it. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad for you, Chris. What's forward? This is forward. Run! It didn't happen with Jill. Oh, God. How am I doing this? I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm somehow doing it. Oh, it's hard. It's very hard. <laughs> I'm running like a drunken bastard. Like I'm Kevin and not Chris. Oh... I gotta go find a good spot to do it again. Okay, the shotgun can hit on distance. So this is right, this is forward, yeah. That didn't hit. It can, but that didn't. Oh, God. Carter, your timings are perfect. <laughs> I gotta shoot from the distance because I need more time to turn and run. <laughs> there we go. That's what the shotgun is good for. Is it time for the magnum? Oh, has it been two minutes? I gotta check. This is one reverse where I want to get out of it. Oh yeah, it's been it's been more than it should have. Okay, okay, okay. Magnum time. Normally, I'm very happy to do reverse, reverse, but... Did you just miss him with the Magnum? That's why I use the shotgun. I know without auto-aim, this is gonna be tricky-dicky. You ready there, Mr. Tarantino? What's my HP? Oh, still fine. Then run! Got him. Nice. You can never tell when you hit and when you don't. Oop, I guess that's it. How many more shells do I have? Oh, one. Try that a little. Can I escape? It would be fun to just escape. Nah, I'm gonna kill him. Two tyrants. And then there's a third tyrant in the end. Three, six. I'm a little nervous now. Just a tiny bit nervous. Just a smidge. You down? There we go. Two tyrants down. Hoo wee! Wow. That's why the first one melted. Now it makes sense. Is it Chris only? <laughs> Kill it now. Do it now. Toothpicks for robots. Hydrate. Thank you. I need it after this. Honestly. I am. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. Two tyrants and one in reverse. Yes, yes. Did you guys know this? Like, I remember David. David came. David went out. Oh my God, he missed this. He would have loved to seen this. There we go. Stretch. Well, it should be this guy. Just so the the story with the tyrants in the Resident Evil games. They have this. They have power limiters, which are basically devices that prevent them to evolve past this mutate past certain threshold which is why at the end of resident evil games these tyrants usually become huge monstrosities it's very evident with like t00 in resident evil 2 mr x he falls in the pool of lava 
and that damages the the power limiter which makes him evolve into a super tyrant and this guy basically does that as well oh here we go another da i didn't did i do enough da last time i have no idea but we will find out it looks like the control device for this room found the door lock switch unlock the door does that mean could, could i have escaped the tyrant what a miserable death i i agree with that very much so i will save my game i will wait do, will rebecca live now because i know the, i think arivan has six endings for both jill <laughs> for both jill and chris there is uh here we go wow ha! wow indeed seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong where is it i see is it invisible how about captain wesker he is sleeping with the ultimate failure hurry up i want to get out of here <laughs> chris's one-liners that, that was that was that was worth it He's sleeping with the ultimate failure right after we got to the root of the problem. I think it's not even his one-liners. It's his intonation. That is terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Very terrible. <laughs> oh, amazing. I'm, uh, I'm happy to be here tonight, people. I, I really am. <laughs> Excuse me, Chris. What, Rebecca? You're excused. I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. That's the opposite of what you should do. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. Yes, we are. See you outside the house. So she's gonna, she's the one activating the triggering system. Wow. She is like a cheerleader, almost. She really is like a cheer cheerleader. I'm 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 so blown away by this by this stream. <laughs> Shotgun Magnum, 35 Magnum. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. It will be enough. It will. We get all the red greens. Redfield can swallow. Wink, wink. So, Lyubka, I'm trying to, I'm thinking, like, chronologically and everything. You haven't seen, yeah, you did, actually. I don't know if you remember, in RE2 and Wesker's desk, remember when I checked uh, Wesker's desk 50 times and you asked, <coughs> why are you doing that? And we found that secret file, the film, when developed, it showed <coughs> Rebecca in a, like a basketball, I'm trying to use it. Like in a... Hold on, I got a cough, I'm sorry. You good, kitty? Nope, there he goes. Love, I think she's she, she figured out it's time for food. So, uh... No, I mean the... I don't... It wasn't the code, it was... I was checking the same desk 50 times in a row. Oh, you, you, you learned it from, like, magazines and stuff like that. I learned it from school, I think. Someone in school told me to do that. Like, way before internet. That's how we... That's how we spread this kind of information. <laughs> in, in schoolyards. But, uh, yeah. So, that picture is actually Rebecca. Her... I guess he's keeping it because he's a perv. Who knows? She's supposed to be 18, I think. Like, too young... <laughs> To be in the special forces but I, they were like ah she's a medic and uh, it really feels like uh did i do all three ammo discs yeah i did feels like one of those uh, like jrpgs where kids 15 years old save the world that's what rebecca reminds me of 
in this game. In the RE2 photo, kinda, because that's the only thing. Here we go. But in the remake, oh, ticks are gonna be around, I think. In the remake, are you one? Oh, nice miss, sir. Nice miss. I like that. You keep missing, and I'll be happy. Um, the 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 this trumpet thingy. What is it? The siren is so odd on the Saturn. First, the siren is odd. Second, listen. You can barely hear the lady. Lupka, the thing is, this is very recognizable text. Uh, the text. Like, what she's saying, we all know it. And, uh... It's very muffled here. Can you hear that? Whoa, 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 whoa. I talked about it last time. It's really distracting. I'll shut up, try to listen. Here, actually, I'll boost the volume. Don't go deaf. She's got a specific voice, and... Let's see. Barely hear. Like, if I didn't know what she was saying, I would never, you know, I would never, uh... Yeah. Wait, they gotta undo. Undo adjust. Okay, back to normal. Here we go. Yeah, she's saying something like, The triggering system has now been activated. All employees, no, all researchers, please evacuate. Something like that. But <laughs> that used to be my Windows XP shutdown sound. Jill, are you there? Chris? Oh, that's different. Jill, you're all right. Ah, uh, yes. Wesker is here. He's... Oh, I know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Anyway, pff, just another night out in town <laughs> with Jill Valentine. <laughs> um, it's different, so I've never done it this way. Again, something new. My God, this is mind-blowing. Normally, I would come here to talk to her through the door, because you have that, and then when you enter, it's a little different. But now, because I didn't come to visit her before... Yeah, Wesker betrayed us and killed all our, all our partners. Everyone's dead. Kenneth is dead. Richard is dead. Richard! Everyone's dead, Chris. He's like, ah, oh, I know. Anyway... <laughs> how's your sex life? <laughs> Wait, where's the ammo? Is it even in this version? There, I think there was ammo in this version as well. Nothing important. I could have sworn there's there was ammo in this version last time. Oh well. It would be nice to have another magnum barrel. Audio studio employee going <laughs> out the window. Yeah, it was something like that. Well, basically, you know, do you know the story of these auditions, Carter? Why the why the voices are like this? Why the vo voice acting is so bad? I don't know if you know if I told you that story. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah, let's split up. Of course. Why wouldn't we go together? Let's get going. I meant to say why would we go together? Oh yeah. So they were obviously they were looking for. English-speaking voice actors in Japan. This was this was still early. The game didn't even have the budget that you know later games had, because it was supposed to be a JRPG actually, uh, a successor to or remake. So it's a successor or remake of uh, what is it called? I mean, not Madhouse. You know the game I mean. I'm thinking about. Oh shit, that's not good. How about now? Nah. How about no? I'm gonna let one guy bite me and then run. I'm not gonna waste this on them. Yeah, so these were just Canadian American actors looking for gigs in Japan. And they were just handed the script on paper, translated from uh, Japanese to English in uh, not the best way. So a lot of the 
Nice. Dodge, dodge. I'm gonna try to dodge this asshole. Nope. My god, you're a finicky one, are you? Okay, that, that works. He was gonna dance with me. And uh, they were just handed the scripts and said, read this. So they had no idea of the context or anything. They literally read text from paper. That was Those were their roles. Let's get going. Yeah. You can see the improvement in later games. You could argue that uh, RE3's, by RE3, the voice acting was more than bearable. But by Outbreak, oh, there we go. By RE, oh my god, I'm gonna need a slot, will I? I'll need a slot to put something here to, I think. Let's see if we can go back. That's the, that's what I'm interested in. By RE3, the, the voice acting was a lot better, but it, by Outbreak, it's really... There's some really good... There's there's still cringy voice acting, but the kind that makes us laugh. What's the most... I think Will... Will wins with... Uh, ooh, what a weird customer. Yeah, we're missing Rebecca, right? So I was saying, uh, RE1 has six endings, right? And... It depends on who survived and who, who didn't. And uh, we got we got the good ending with Jill. We got we're gonna get the good ending, the best ending with Chris. I think there's three endings per character. Yes. Yeah. From all this mansion, not a single, not a single radio. Yeah, there's the battery. I knew that I would need the slot. And as soon as I put that in, I think that's it. So it forces you to go to the battle with only three health items. What a pointless hallway, huh? What's the point of this? <laughs> Evacuation route, the longest hallway on the estate. <clears throat> So that explains a lot. <clears throat> I remember you mentioned that. That explains a lot with... Um, with with some of the voices, some of the sounds she makes in that game. Catherine did the, Catherine did her or something like that? I know I, I, I found out because of you, Gamut. You started a story? Like, there's a story. I'm thinking about what you mean there, Lupka. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Like, what was Wesker's master plan here? <clears throat> Rip out the battery and put it like two meters away. That'll stop him. I doubt the zombies pulled out the battery. They can't even... Here we go. Aww. Can you... Can you fit the battery in rectangular battery in a rectangular slot. There is three minutes <clears throat> until explosion. Hold on. I made it! I set off the triggering system to the bomb! Great! Rebecca! Brad's up in the helicopter! Look at those monsters! Let me take care of them! Okay. I want to see the monsters. Why don't you let me see the monster? I want to see the monsters. Why wouldn't I be able to see the monsters? What do you mean story about? What do you mean the story about voice acting wasn't a story? What was it then? Hmm, that makes sense. But on the, you know, on the other hand, I would I would definitely spend an HP item there. But maybe you're right. Yeah. Because it would be, it would be, 
Yeah, yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe if you if you got out there without any HP, then um, oh, I gotta refund that to you, uh, mutation. <clears throat> Good to see you. I didn't even see that. So this is Sega Saturn, and that's only for the PlayStation One and PlayStation Two games, unfortunately. So I will refund that to you. There's no Sega Saturn remote, unfortunately. How are you doing, Joe? I was I was talking about you earlier. All right. You know I can do it anywhere, but I always do it from from here, like from the middle, so that uh, that Brad can see it easier. Good to hear, man. I haven't talked to you in three days. It already feels like it's been ages. Is it three days? I think it's three days. Wednesday. Yes. All right, Chris. Your power <laughs> to get smacked in the face more is now very relevant. <laughs> Telly marks on my wall. <laughs> it's very possible to die here without auto aim, so we'll see. Yeah, he's not gonna. That's Brad. He's not gonna help me right away. It's gotta be. Time is ticking, guys. Can we hurry this up? I'll just shoot him, keep shooting him and healing. That should do the trick. And dead. Oh yeah, oh god, he's got quite a swing. Fine and dandy. Run! There you go, someone wanted him to run. Someone wanted him to run and he got the running power. Wow, really Chris, you can take a lot of beating. How's my HP now? As soon as it gets yellow, yeah, I use one of these. Sir, that would have been instant death. Can I reload now? Yes. Okay, no live reloads here. No, I don't. I don't remember. I, honestly, I don't remember. It's been a quite a few years. So the last four times I uh, I played this version and. The two tyrants was already enough, really. Sir, wow. You, even though you can take more hits, Chris, you seem to fly more than Jill. Get up. Oh, that would have been deadly. Had I not had this. Oh, fuck you, camera. That's... <laughs> That's a weird battle, I gotta say. After everything. There you go, that's what I want. Whew. All the tyrants have an ass for some reason, sis. I don't know why why Umbrella likes making butted. Whoa, that's perfect. Thank you, sir. I guess he really wanted me to use that. Go, 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 Chris! Oh, I can't believe. Okay, if he was crouching for that, I would have been dead. Come on! Yeah, there we go. He didn't hit me. Come on! There we go. Four. Will will it be enough? What do you think? I love these things. Look at that with the aim and everything. Any target, you say? All right. Let's check that theory. <laughs> Hasta la vista, tyrant. <laughs> Not the balls! Yeah, he is different. He is. I think he was greener. You're right. Gamut. A lot of a lot of small changes in, in this version, really. <laughs> two tyrants. Yeah. Really, the two tyrants was scary. Honestly, that's that was the scariest part of the when you think you know the game for um for so long and and then there's new shit. GG. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, Lyubka's there. Actually, Lyubka can do it. Thank you. Gamut's there as well. Joe's there as well. Senpai's there. Sasha's there. I don't need to do anything. I don't even need to play the game anymore.
I always think he's looking at the ghost. Okay, so yeah, we got the best, we got the best ending. So next time we just gotta go down. Like with Silent Hill, we're gonna start with Silent Hill. It was canonical endings. Well, here too, it was canonical endings. We're doing canonical endings now, and then next marathon we're gonna do it a little darker. Too bad other. <clears throat> yeah, live ac live live action. Both the both the intro and, and outro have live live action. I thought that was really cool when I was a kid. Thanks, guys. I thought it was really cool. They put real people. We're not done yet. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're not done yet. I forgot to say we will check out the battle game that I've never seen. Thank you. Yeah, the outro. The the ending. Thank you. Thank you. What is? Oh, outro. Yeah, it is a word. It is really like an anime. Ending. You can see how they were trying to merge the. Um... It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. They were trying to merge the, like the, the Japanese style with with with, not Western, specifically American. Made it look like a B movie and everything. Even all these years later, I know I know what this game is. I I can count the pixels on screen, but it's still amazing. It's still, it's it's good. It's. We laughed, we laughed a lot, especially at Rebecca. That was so worth it. Everything was worth it just to hear Rebecca talk to Chris. Hasta la vista, tired. Oh, in case you don't know what you were playing. Seven hours. Wow, with all the dicking around, that's, I expected there to be 12 hours, really. <laughs> Find closet. All right. I will find the closet if you let me go. Thank you. Yes. I don't know what's the the canonical ending is both everyone well everyone chris redfield jill valentine barry burton rebecca chambers all four of them survive canonically so yeah the can so jill's scenario has to be canonical what you asked before uh carter it's it's jill scenario yeah a couple of things po point to that <laughs> Well, when Rebecca and Chris are there, <laughs> let's check out that battle game. If I like it, I'll, I'll dedicate a stream to it in the near future. Resident Evil. Ah, okay. Uh... I'm gonna go with Jill. I know we just played Chris, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The rules. The rules of survival. Well, of uh, fictional survivor, actually. <clears throat> mysterious zone. Really? So, did they eliminate all enemies and enter a mysterious zone, okay? Oh, look, it's got a timer and everything. Can you save? I don't think so. Nope. Look where you start. There's a chest. I expected it more to be... Oh, look at that. I expected it to be more like... Fort Survivor or something like that. Called Python Bazooka. Clips. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, one clips. Shells. It's pretty good. What is waiting for me there? Do I dare ask? <gasps> Wait, if I have 
boxes does that mean I can go and come and go as I please 36 magnum rounds where's the magnum so many F8 sprays but no herbs huh? just F8 sprays okay six flame six acid six explosives and you know what fuck it I'll take coke python and the rounds where are the rounds there you go right in the rounds and let's bring two fa sprays i guess <laughs> of course yeah the hell yeah contact us if you ever come here cutter they probably give give you gave you just enough to kill everything let's see time's ticking even in the box obviously so let's see Cool. Uh, gotta love these girls. Oh, he's instant death? No, he's not. He felt like he was. He is now. How do I know where there are zombies now? Can you change rooms? How did I? Look at that. It's kind of like elimination. Look where I came out of instead of the save room. Is there a zombie here? Oh, there's one on the ground, actually. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it always scares me. That's pretty cool music. I've never heard this before. Or no, wait, I have somewhere in the soundtrack. Stage clear, that was short. That can't be it, can it? Okay, this is elimination. This is where elimination got its ground. Holy shit, are those? They, they, they can be hunters already. Why not build this? That's perfect. Oh, that's not perfect. I am so fucked. In midair. Let's try the shotgun. Shit, look at that. Two bites. She's not she's no Chris Redfield, I'll tell you that. So dead. I'm dead. Well, that was fast. <gasps> I'm not dead. There you go. Now I can shoot the pistol because they can't they can't get behind me. Mix the phobias. Unfortunately, it's more and more and more people are complaining about that. Huh? So you basically, I guess you gotta kill enemies in every room. It just pushes you onward. Okay, I, I could get behind this. It's kind of like elimination in Outbreak. Only you don't you don't control where you are. What the fuck? Oh, it's these. Oh my god, I could I could I could bank on this. Look, look, look. If I do this, I always wanted to try this anyway, so Wait, wait, wait. If it's pushing me through the rooms, that means I can't go back to the item box. Which means whatever I brought with me, that's it. So it's kind of like in uh, Mercenaries Operation Mad Jackal, when you pick a character with different inventory. Or only here, you choose your inventory. Yeah, of course! Oh, it worked! That's what I wanted to do. That's pretty cool, it worked. What's that? Three crows. Ah, oh, my face! My beautiful face! My god, these RE1 crows are no joke. I thought one pistol will be enough, but I guess not. Everybody to the hippie house. <laughs> I 
Can they fly over this thing? Wow. Such a waste. Let's try to shoot them with the pistol again. So much harder without the auto aim. I know I keep saying that. But man, it is true. Yeah, the shotgun is the way to go. Already yellow caution. Damn, Jill. Chris kind of spoiled me. Gonna die by crows, huh? Danger. Holy ass, these crows are buffed. They don't want to die. How the fuck do you aim at something that you can't even see? There we go. One of them is dead. We got something. Wow. Oh, next time, I guess I'll bring more health and less ammo. I seem to have ammo, but not health so much. Oh, shit. It's so hard to hit anything with this. There we go. Nice, you can dodge their attack, that's pretty cool. Oh, Jesus Christ, fucking iframes and the crows, really? Do they need that? Well, I wonder what's next, like, two black tigers? Three yawns? Two black tiger tigers? No, it's a black tiger where all of his legs are replaced with yawns and its face are hunters. <laughs> it is a boss. Oh my god, I was kidding. It is yawn. I was kidding. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Oh, goodbye, sweet world. It was nice. It was nice seeing the first three rooms, I think. In the face. Shoot it in the face. How am I? Oh my god! It was gonna, it was gonna eat her. How am I living through this? There you go. <laughs> with bell pepper, Serbian dishes with bell pepper. A lot of them. The most famous one is stuffed peppers. Basically, you. Take some minced meat and rice and uh, and spices. You cook it all up and you stuff your peppers with it and then you bake them in the oven. You can find the recipe for that. It's amazing. Here we go. Jill. Oh, there we go. We're going on the board. What the hell? What's H-I-J? Can we change anything? Yes, but yes. That's cool. I've never seen this. Why was this not in any other versions? Yeah. Yes, that's the the snake ate Jill. Unfortunately. Wait. You said do you want to continue this game? I said yes. What's the problem? Did we save at all? Oh, is it because B is cancelled now? Fuck. It didn't I don't think it saved anyway. Oh boy, that really sucks. Okay, that was that was that was a test try. Here we go. Test te that was a test day drive. Let's do it again. Yeah, it didn't save anything. We didn't see any save. Uh, let's try Chris. Rice, beans, and potato. Mmm. So our cuisines are pretty similar, Teste. Like South American and Serbian cuisine. Okay, same starting point. And take the knife, I guess. So shotgun, clip. He's got Chris weapons instead. Okay, that makes sense. But because it's Chris... I'm gonna try with the shotgun. Fuck the pistol for now. Hmm. 
no, there. And also to fade sprays. You want to fade away? Oh, there you go. Awesome. Joe. Oh, is Joe still there? Joseph. Joseph. That'll summon him. Have you ever played this, man? You played the battle game? Nice. Okay. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> In the next 15 minutes. Wait. Am I doing this right? <laughs> man, this is... So you played this as a kid. Cool. That's pretty cool. Joseph played the Saturn version first, I think. You lucky bastard. Okay, let's do it again. I, I dig this music. The music is the best part of this, honestly. Sir, this way. Are you... Are you fucking blind, sir? <laughs> no! Don't go! I'm gonna take get bitten because it's cheaper. Uh... Does it work in the first game to mash the buttons to, uh, you know, to to release the grab sooner? Yeah, the music's pretty cool. <laughs> get out of here! No, <laughs> I gotta say, come out, come out, zombie! Get out of right here! I'm trying to shoot you with a shotgun. <laughs> Imagine Arnold saying that. <laughs> Come on, leak the gas. Use it to burn these bastards. <laughs> Do it now. <laughs> you can say bastards as well. <laughs> Get to the chopper. I don't think those dogs will appear. What's a, the other good corner for this? Just shoot. I'll spray from here and hope for the best. Oh, no, there's one. There's one. I think I have three more shells. I love that with the shotgun. For the Cerberi especially. Oh, there's still, still two more left. The other one's stuck, I think. Yeah, yeah, everything the Lupka said. That's right. Oh fuck it, it's Chris. He can he's the master of dying slower and harder. Seriously, doggy? In the face. Okay, why why was this track not in the soundtrack? I gotta find the, the Saturn soundtrack. Where's the golden tyrant too? I wanna see that. Here we go. Let's see how many... Man, it feels like... Uh, he still can take more bites than uh, Joe. How many do I have in the barrel? Four? Four. Yeah, it should be enough. Provided I don't miss much. What did I do it last time? Like here? And then in the top four of them. That's how I want to kill them. Come here. I know what you do. See, why is that I framed? That makes no sense. That's three. I have one more. The crow landing and flying up again is I frames. Is that crow behind me? It's behind me. Is it? Oh no, it isn't. Yeah, that makes more sense than what I did. Though, I, with, with this tactic now, I could do it with the pistol. Because I can see where their iframes are. Not, it's not hunter iframes, but still. Yeah, something like that. Do you get poison from this yawn, though? Man, that's a, not, that's a lot of magnum rounds, Chris. No, shoot down. Fuck you, I gotta check my health. Yes, it's time. I'll do a few more magnums. Why is it in iframes all the time? Look at that. There you go, wow. 
So I missed like three, four times, it seems. Hey, <laughs> yeah, one by one. <laughs> like a kung fu movie. <laughs> <gasps> so you do get save rooms. Okay, it's much easier than I expected. Wow! Oh, it's the same save room? I don't mind. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you, game. That's very lovely of you. That means I can survive another round and then maybe... Maybe then switch to Beretta. That may make sense to start with Beretta that way. There you go. Switch to shotgun. This is a pretty interesting concept. I so, like anyone who's played, who's interested in development of RE Outbreak knows that the first idea for the game was something like this. So after they finished RE One in '96, they uh, they uh, oh no, here we go. Remember when I didn't kill them? Gamut, here we go. Dude, it's a shotgun in the face. Act like it. Still alive. Oh, there we go. Oh, it only took, what, what 10 shotguns? <laughs> Let's try the Magnum, though. <clears throat> Shit, I didn't even realize. They are not poisoning me. So every time you kill a boss, a safe room will appear. Really? Okay, that makes sense. It's like recuperate after the hardest parts. Two magnums! Are you shitting me, game? What is this? What is this? I'm pretty sure. I remember, like, I used to kill spiders with... With... Oh, shit. Three magnums. Man, this is like... What is this? Like a toy? <clears throat> I don't think I have to kill the babies. That would be... That wouldn't be really fun. Dude, I'm dead. Oh, there you go. It answered itself. <laughs> yeah, they are, man. Did you see that? Two magnums and a shotgun. What the hell? What is that? Web spinners, not like fucking bulletproof armor spinners. Another boss. It's the it's the black tiger. Well, oh, it's the oh, it's this thing. Just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Is it hitting it? It's hard to tell sometimes. One more than switch to magic. Is it hitting it? Dorothy 1.0. Huh? Does it have iframes? Because it seems like it's not getting a... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that's actually... That's actually pretty good. I think, I think I'll have enough after these two. Can I approach, ma'am, please? I just need to walk up to you and ask you a few questions. Shit, wow. Even Chris is, like, spongy in this way. Jesus Christ, can I approach, please? I just want to fight you. There you go, done with the magnum. I'm really bad at counting tonight. Ah, oh, fucking poisonous goop. What if I shoot straight? Oh, it still damages it. Seems it damages it more than when I shoot up. That worked, I can't believe that worked. It's gonna come back, is it? Yep, it's gonna come back. I'm so dead. So purple means it'll die soon. There you go, it's actually good. So like, when it gets to purple, it's like when you use the... It's like when you use the... <coughs> what is it called? V-Jolt. Yeah, so that's one. This one's Plant 42. That one, <laughs> the Vagina Plant from uh, Outbreak is Plant 43, Lyubka. They actually have co code names. I didn't know the Plant 43 name until recently. Okay. 
That's how you kill a hunter with two magnums. Not fuck around with shotgun. Nice. So the spider, the, the web spinners can take more. <laughs> don't, don't touch my hair slash tentacles. The 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 web spinners can take more. You know this? Oh shit, one after another, really? I'm dead, yeah, I'm not surviving this. So more health, less ammo. I just I just had a I had an episode with this guy before. Oh wow! Stun! Stun bitch! Ah There you go! Off with your leg, I guess? It works! Yeah, Plant 42 was an accident. But instead of destroying it, they continued to like monitor it and that was their undoing because in the end it killed most of the researchers. Oh shit! Yeah, there we go, poison. Actually, there's no poison in this minigame, I think. But there is danger. I think that's gonna kill me now. Oh wow! Holy fucking shit! I can't believe this! Heal! I have nothing to heal with. Did I die? Oh, that was, that was the babies. Okay, I wasn't looking at the babies. I can't believe I lived. I was like, okay, this is where we end this, but here we go. I still live. And a new save room. Danger. That's the last. There you go, Lyubka. Your wish will be granted. That's the... The last one, right? Oh boy, oh boy. Do I even bring the Beretta? Nah, it'll be fine. So definitely Chris for the mini game. Really? Zombie what? You're making this up, are you? Just like, you, you mashed two words from the game and you made a monster, did you? Because if you didn't do that, then Capcom did that. <laughs> what the fuck is Zombie Wesker, man? What am I, what am I playing here? The music makes it better, definitely. Oh god, I guess he doesn't care. It really is a zombie Wesker. Wow. How about a Magnum, bro? Die! Did he fucking die? Did he, did he just scream? Use the Python, son. Thank you. Yeah. 14 shells, not enough. There's one more at least. And there's nothing to pick up. Is it, it's only in RE1 that you can decapitate without aiming up, right? 10.30. Exactly! That's what I'm thinking. Golden eye. Golden eye. Yeah, it's the same instrument uh, set. Chimeras. Oh my god, I don't like them. Anyway, you turn it. How do you even fight them without auto aim? How do people do this before director Scott in the corner then just shoot up again? Oh, it worked? I can't believe they worked. Two more, I can do this. Iframes, bitch. Oh no, it, it's got iframes. I'm the bitch. No, I don't want to be the bitch. I enjoy being the other thing. So it's only two of them. Okay, that kind of makes it easier, I guess. But I need that corner so they can't get behind me. Which, in any other game, that would be a bad strategy, but here... What were you saying? Oh, asshole. No, I'm not hitting it. Shit. Oh, so much wasted ammo. Seriously? How about you get hit? Are those little... Oh, those are little... That's... That, so, nice detail. They're dropping little ma uh, fly maggots because they're mutated flies. There you go, one's down. Can I kill the other one now? Come here, boy. Come here. I don't have a pot shot, so you gotta work with me. Come on. Come on. He's just enjoying the music, look at that. 
Chris is like, what the fuck am I looking at? Here? You there? Oh, I had to try. Why am I not... I gotta, like, be in its face, right? Dude! Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally ready to die here, Joe, don't worry. This is more like a test run to fill up for the short stream. I will... I will play with this and see the stream it like as a full feature thing. Holy shit! Oh, I hate chimeras in the in the. Yep, that's why I don't like them. Come here now. Very bad timing for um, reload. Oh, I still have 18. Cool. Ah! Oh. That is ass. That's the best I can describe it. And that always tricks me. I always fall for that. Fuck you. Okay, timing. It's all about timing. Just like with the hunters. It's gonna be somewhere there in the left corridor, right? Oh, I hate these angles. Are you serious? There you go. Okay, I got the hang of it. So with a little practice, it's not impossible. Of course, it's not impossible. They wouldn't make it to be impossible. <laughs> Is it the golden tyrant time? Yeah, that's the music. <clears throat> Ah! I expected you on the other side, sir. Why are you golden? What's the what's the deal? Are we close to the end though? How many do I have? It's Twelve. Not enough to kill two tyrants, I'm sure. Run! Ah, oh, shit, I thought I would have gone. I'm dying so bad. There you go. It was nice. Oh, that was ultra combo. So are you going to eat that or what? Okay, okay. That's pretty fun. I don't know why it was, uh, why it was, why it was uh, exclusive to Saturn, but I'm glad it exists. Honestly, I think RE1 needed more than any other game, a side game. Ultra nom nom. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thanks, David, for making this happen, man. If you're still around, he might be sleeping. Chris, so what's with the... What's with the... So start this time. Okay, is it saving? Does it automatically save? Yeah, he does. Hey, Delmar. Good evening. Well, this battle game is only on Saturn. Uh... Yeah, it's only on Saturn. <laughs> it's got a lot of H ranking. <laughs> yeah, that, the Golden Tyrant, the two Tyrant battle, I, I, I'm... I only beat the Chris scenario twice on the play once on the PlayStation, once on PC. I don't remember fighting two tyrants ever. But I have heard about it as a myth, and here we go. Yeah, the game, the mini game is really fun. Honestly, the it makes you strategize. You have a limited space and you have quite a good arsenal on offer. So I like that. I like uh strategizing my inventory. Too bad there's no map, but yeah, that's like an elimination. Okay, that's enough for me for tonight. This was... The, the, the year started great with this uh, <laughs> with this stream series. Let's see, who's, who's doing something now? Thank you! No, thank you guys. <laughs> it wouldn't be nearly as fun without you. 
Like I expect this to ever load in time. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Who's uh who's playing what? Not too many people are streaming. Come on, load. Load, you piece of ass. Oh, here we go. We might. What? I don't know what to pick. Here we go. From a Capcom game to a Capcom game, I guess. I will hydrate just before going, Carter. Don't worry. Mega Man. With Cobra Clips. Bye! Alrighty. What do you mean I used that? Die, please! What the fuck? Here we go, we'll do it this way. I swear that app is just. Thank you! Bye! Alrighty, thanks everyone. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you tomorrow with Code Veronica, hopefully on the Dreamcast. Till next time.